Paul Coker here from OneBloodyDrop.com and um, today I'm here at Swansea University and I'm with Dr. Otmar Mosser. Uh, Dr. Mosser is a, is a researcher in diabetes and sports in particular. He has type 1 diabetes himself and he's something of a sports star. Today we're going to be talking about some groundbreaking research that Dr. Mosser has been doing about the use of a particular type of insulin called Degladec. Uh, but before we get there, I just would like Dr. Mosser to introduce himself. So, Welcome, thank you for joining us. So Dr. Mosser, please tell us a little bit about your sporting background mm. and your diagnosis with diabetes and how that led you to doing yeah. all of this wonderful research. Thank you for the opportunity to talk a little bit about myself and also about the research we are doing here in Swansea University. So as you said right, I got diagnosed with diabetes around 10 years ago. Um, before this time at the triathlon, um, had a very nice life, was traveling around the world, uh, did a whole lot of competitions and then I got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes which completely changed everything for me in that situation. I think the funny part was that I was already working in, uh, as a student in the field of type 1 diabetes and Afterwards, it was clear for me after finishing my BSc and MSc in sports science and physiology that I want to stay in the field, that I want to do research, that I want to, to improve the quality of life in people with type 1 diabetes. So I had the opportunity to do a doctor degree in medical sciences and out of that and my background, I had the opportunity to perform research as a combination of doing physical exercise, performing sports and testing new insulins, new technologies around exercise. My primary aim was at this stage and it's still, I would say, the still, the still aim of my research just try to increase the quality of life in people with type 1 diabetes. I understand that you've just released some new research mm. about the use of a particular type of insulin called yeah. Degladec, which I think most of us would know as Traceba. Yeah. So this study um, came more or less out of the blue. So the funny part was um, a recent consensus statement published in Lens and said when you are exercising regularly uh, and you are running on insulin decladec, you should not reduce the insulin because this might end up in glycemic disturbances. Um, I was reading this review with interest and I was wondering where does this opinion assumption come from? So there were no data in the background existing on that. We knew already, because we performed um, previous research using the insulin Decladec, that it's extremely stable, which is good for the patients. This means low numbers of hypoglycemic episodes, less glycemic variability, so really good insulin. But for us it was of interest, how can we use this type of insulin around regularly exercise? So what we did, we asked a couple of participants to exercise for five days, every day in the evening. Um, the first round with a full dose of insulin, Declodex, so with the normal dose of the basal insulin, then a few weeks break in between and afterwards doing the same again but reduce the insulin by 25%. We had the idea that we see lower numbers of hypoglycemic episodes, less time spent in hypoglycemia when you reduce the insulin. Interestingly, what, what we found out in this crossover design was that the time spent in euglycemia, so this means um, for blood glucose levels between around 4 and 10 millimol per liters, went up when you reduce the insulin. Um, this could mean for future research, for us what we want to do is show when you are exercising regularly, you should reduce your basal insulin also when you are using insulin Declodec because this could mean over a longer time that your HbA1c, your long-term glycemic control, goes down. So this means you have an improved glycemic control. Um, this could be something we could try to find with this insulin reduction in the future. Does that mean that we need to, if I was using yeah. Declodec yeah. and I was exercising and I reduced my dose, does that mean that I need to be exercising every single day or five mm -hmm. days out of seven? Or mm -hmm. I, I think such a reduction of 25% in insulin Declodec 
um, is needed for example when you're exercising on one day uh, doing one day off exercising the next day so with all of this one day break in between it would make sense to reduce the insulin decladectose however in this study the people were really exercising every day on a row over five days yep. without any break in between it's now difficult to say that immediately it means that everyone should reduce insulin decadec when you're exercising for example three times a week however it might be or we could assume for example when you're exercising three times a week that you reduce your insulin decadec dose by around five up to ten percent this would make sense this could be a conclusion out of it we could draw from our results um, however as i said the 25 percent reduction is working quite well when you're really let me say four up to five times exercising a week for around 30 up to 60 minutes. I think in your research you were looking at moderate intensity yeah. aerobic exercise. Mm. Um, do we have any clues as to what might happen if people were doing uh, high intensity anaerobic mm. exercise? Mm. Would, would we expect to see similar mm. or, or don't we know yet? Mm. Um, so for this specific insulin we do not know yet <clears throat> what what we are expecting or what we know is uh, when you are exercising with a very high intensity the during exercise the drop in the blood glucose concentration is less or even the glucose concentration goes slightly up however over a longer period for example the following 24 hours up to 48 hours after exercise we saw that you have a higher number of hypoglycemic episodes during that time this is what we saw also when using insulin decladec uh, in comparison of high intensity interval exercise and continuous exercise that when you do an hit exercise that for the next 24 hours you have higher rates of hypoglycemic episodes um, what could that mean for insulin decladec? It could mean when you're exercising with higher intensities over a longer period uh, or before hit that you would even need to reduce the insulin a little bit more. However, this is just an assumption from my side and we did not investigate yet. What we are trying to do with our research is find a general recommendation uh, which you can use as a starting point. However, it's a good recommendation, for example, clinicians can give afterwards that saying, okay, try to start with a 25% reduction and after three days re-evaluate and see if you need to reduce a little bit more or if you need to reduce a little bit less. It's a first recommendation you can give. At the end of the day, it's an individual recommendation you have to find for yourself. Yeah, and uh, I, I think that's a, a, a brilliant way of putting it, so th thank you Dr. <laughs> Massa. So w which journal was it published in most recently? It was published in Diabetes, Obesity, Metabolism. And, and it just remains for me to congratulate you on such a fantastic piece of research and also to congratulate you because I understand that um, next week you're going to be presenting this yeah. paper at the uh, fifth EASD conference yeah. in Berlin, yeah. um, which is just incredible. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.